Hello, welcome back. In this class, we are going to look at um, preparing data in Excel for SPSS. Sometimes we talked about importing data from Excel and doing advanced data handling in SPSS. But this is not always the case. Sometimes by preparing your data in Excel, you are able to skip some more uh, technical and complex step in SPSS. For example, when we do give values in SPSS by giving value labels, by recording variables, we can save some of this step when we do prepare data in Excel for SPSS. Let's get a look at what I'm saying. This is the data that we are going to use for descriptive statistics in SPSS. It is about German machine um, uh, data. So we are having mileage, we have make, we have model, we have fuel type, we have gear, offer type, price, HP, and the year. Now, um, you can remember us mentioning that SPSS do want to deal with um, numerical data. That is why we had to give labels for some values. For example, when we have female and male, we say one for male, two for female, an example. That is how SPSS will be able to understand something that we do and be able to analyze our data more or with more freedom. So now in this case, I have this MEC, which is not numeric. Of course, I have numeric values and other numeric values. This MEC, I want to see how many MECs are there. You can see we have so many MECs. And we want to give labels to these values. That is what we do in Excel. So the next thing that I would want or I usually do is to um, export this data to SPSS and record variables and then again give labels for each of these values. Let's go to model. Model has long list of values. So this one is probably not what I'm interested in. So the next thing that I want to do with model is this is the column that I'm not interested in uh, for at least this demonstration. So I've deleted. By now, I've already done one of main data preparation. I've realized that giving labels for long list of categories is hectic. And also, of course, I have to consider that I don't want to use this feature of the car in my analysis. So the next step that I want to do is to delete that column. That is one of data preparation. Very important. Here I have fuel. So for fuel, I have either diesel, uh, electric or gasoline or gasoline. So that is again another category. I have gear, either automatic or manual. And I have offer type where I have demonstration, employee's car, pre-registered or used. So those are the offers. Then I have numeric values. You can start feeling what I want to do with this data. The next thing that I want to do is to give labels for each of these values. For example, for make, I want to say one to represent BMW, two to represent Volkswagen, three to represent this, and so on. Same with the fuel, one to represent diesel, for example, two to represent gasoline and three to represent electric and so on for all these categorical values. To do that, of course we can do it in SPSS, but having handling that in Excel would be cheaper as I'm going to demonstrate right away. All right, so I want to get all the categories for make. To do that, I highlight the column that I'm interested in, go to advanced, and um, copy to another location. Um, my column is this make column. I go around here. I copy the unique values. Copy these values to. I choose the uh, where I want to put this value. Let me say in somewhere here, and uh, say okay. This is what I mean. Now you have the unique values for each of these make column. We have BMW, Volkswagen, uh, Seat, Revant, Pidgeot, Toyota, and so on. So they are, some of the values are there. 
I want to do the same for fuel, the same for gear, and the same for offer type. So let me go again for advanced, um, go around here, copy to new location, and this advanced, uh, I want to use this fuel part, and uh, I want to copy the unique values. And uh, now where I want to paste is maybe somewhere here. Here I say, okay, I have my fuel there. All right, I have my make, I have my fuel. The next thing is my gear. So again, go to advanced, all right. Um, the column that I want to do is now with the gear. I want to copy it to new location. I also want unique values. This location is maybe somewhere here for my gears. Uh, and then I say, okay. The next thing is this offer type. So again, I go to advance. Um, this range is here. And uh, I want to copy it to new location. I want unique values. And this location for um, offer type is somewhere here. Example, and then I say, okay now i have unique values for each of the categorical columns so i know under fuel i have diesel i have gasoline i have electric um, or gasoline and i have manual or automatic gear i have the offer types there now assigning the value labels assigning labels to these values will be easier in excel compared to what we could have in SPSS. So let me say control X. I want to cut this. Go to other sheet and say control V. Uh, hopefully everything is done from this sheet. Sheet is now clean. All right, I can save. Go around here and uh, maybe, um, okay, let me push these values a little further push these other values a little further um, push these others now a little further oops this one's some far away All right so maybe um, I can bring it here bring it here and also bring it around here now the next thing i want to do is to give labels all right so i can say here labels um so labels i will be having one for bmw two for volkswagen up to the last value so how many values do we have for for make we have 27 categories for make for fuel of course we have three so again you can say here labels and for labels i have one two i have three gear for gear we have labels i have one and two for type of a type i have four you can say one two three and then four good now you have the labels so i want to replace bmw with one volkswagen with two i want to replace diesel with one gasoline with two and so on so the next thing so here you can say data this is your data here you can say um, labels here you can say recorded or something of the sort or SPSS data. So this is how I want to do. Go to my data, copy this data, control C, go to SPSS data and say control V, right? So I can delete anything that is in there. Uh, for uh, make, I want to give labels, so I can still say make, and I say is equals to, now I'm using some Excel formulas, VLOOKUP, lookup for BMW in this table array, all 
okay um, you can select absolute reference lm2 comma exact range and say enter oops um, column number two this should be number two so that when I have also I mean BMW I should be having number one all right BMW is here Volkswagen should be number two seat should be number three and so on so I can copy this formula down and you can see for example uh, Mercedes Benz here is 10 and also you can see Volkswagen is 2 here Volkswagen is 2 here so we are done for this what we can do for this column is control C control alt V to paste the special values and say ok then the next thing is just to delete this column now we have the make which is made up of 1 2 3 and so on do the same for fuel insert and say this is fuel which fuel does the car consumes is equal to v lookup and look up for this value comma table array of course this time round you need to go for fuel right f4 to absolute reference comma number two comma um, false and then you can now copy this down you can see gasoline or um, electric is three and then we have gasoline as two diesel as one so the next thing is to again control c control alt v paste the special values okay and now the next thing is to delete this column next do the same for the gear insert and here you say gear um, gear here uh, is equals to v lookup uh, lookup for manual comma the table array is for gear here f4 to fix comma column 2 comma exact values enter manual is 1 of course automatic is 2 so you can see automatic is 2 manual 1 automatic 2 manual 1 and so on we are done for this again Control c to copy Control alt v paste the special paste as values and say ok and then the next thing is now to delete this column do lastly the same for offer type uh, here you can say offer type right and for offer type you can say is still is equals to v lookup tab lookup for used the value that is there comma table array is here uh, of course apoju there is label a4 to fix um, column number two right and exact match and say enter used is one and the other values will also be given below there the next thing is now to copy this data control c control alt v uh, paste those values and say okay and then now you can simply delete this column now you have the data for spss you have the make one representing bmw to representing Volkswagen and so on. For under fuel, you have uh, one to represent um, diesel, two to represent gasoline, and so on. Now you have a data which is a little better and that can help you to uh, import and now do the values. Uh, now we go to SPSS, uh, go to SPSS go to file import and of course we are importing from excel and uh, in my desktop i go to cut variables visualization data dot xlx i say open um where are we importing this data from we are importing from the 
SPSS data sheet and you can preview your values in here. They look okay. And now you say okay. Your SPSS goes in there and you can see everything looks fine. So the next thing that you would want to do is um, you can see even SPSS tries to see the categorical variables. Uh, for example, this one they are saying it is uh, nominal. They are saying this is a scale. This make is thought of a scale because it has so many categories. Remember make we had 27 categories. So SPSS still sees uh, this make as um, as um, uh, uh, scale rather than as they see for the other variables as nominal. So let's save our data. Uh, go to data, save us, and let us save it again to desktop and call it um, cut uh, variables cat variables visualization data and say save boom it goes in there the next thing that you would do is now to give the values to these labels that we have in here for example you go to variable view make for make you go inside the values and say one to represent um one is to represent what from labels bmw two volkswagen one to represent bmw add two to represent volks um let me confirm volkswagen Add number three value. It is giving the label to um, sit add and so on. You do for others up to number twenty seven, and you change this to nominal. You do the for the fuel. Fuel number one represent what? One represents um, diesel. Diesel. Number two to represent gasoline. Um, yeah, gasoline. Add number three to represent what? to represent electric stroke gasoline. Uh, oops. Electric stroke gasoline. Now you get it and you say okay. And of course when you go around data view you can see diesel gasoline when you click on values when you click on value labels you see what each of these number represent these others are still numbers because we have not completed um, the values and the labels you do the same for the gear and offer type thank you for joining enjoy learning in our next class after you're done with this we are going to talk about um, categorical data visualization in SPSS when we talk of categorical data Remember, we talked of ordinal and nominal under categories. Thank you for joining. Enjoy learning.